Happy trails. Trot with me as I gallop through the magical pastures of frame rates. I'm at and this is the shirtless apprentice. This episode is going to be about choosing the right frame rate for your internet video. Um, there's a lot of debate over what frame rate to use in your internet video. Um, and really what's important is your final product and where it's going to be shown, who's going to be watching it, what player they're going to watch it off of. But first, let's go back and let's take a look at, at frame rates. It's really predominantly two frame rates uh, that you're going to want to use, probably 30 frames or 24 frames. If you're shooting video, it's going to be 30 interlaced or 30 progressive or 24 progressive. Now 24p mimics the look of the cinema and it gives you that extra film stutter. There's actually less frames per second. So when you see a movement, you're going to see less of that movement. It's going to be a little choppier. 30 frames is a little crisper. So now we can move back to how it applies to internet video and why you can actually hurt yourself uh, if you don't plan properly. On internet video, a lot of players drop your video down to 15 frames. So if you shot them at 24 frames, so if you shot them at 24 frames, but they're only being shown at 15, what we see as a stutter in 24p, you're going to see as some kind of a distortion and just frames missing in between movements on the 15 frame uh, that people are actually going to see. On the other hand, iTunes plays at a full 30 frames. And when you edit 24 frames, it's actually 24 frames written to 30 frames. So iTunes would be able, theoretically, to show you 24 frames. But if your video is never going to be on iTunes or is going to be on YouTube or a video uh, embedded in a web page, if your video is only going to be watched on a web page or uh, YouTube or an embedded video where the frame rate is going to be 15 or less, you're going to want to make sure that you didn't shoot it in 24p, you don't have that exaggerated motion, uh, and you want it to be crisp and clear. I'm a and this is the Shirtless Apprentice.